morning guys how are you welcome back to my channel that's Lola yawning not me and um, well today I am frozen I've gone back to my comfy um, little fleeces and I'm feeling a little bit down because I'm missing the sunshine so I thought you know what how to cheer myself up how about making a summery wreath and I made one the other day I don't know if you saw it on my channel if not I'll put a link here um, and that really is more for a, an occasional reef not one I can leave out all the time because it's cardboard and it would get wet especially at this moment in time so I wanted to make myself something that I can leave out at the moment on my front door and I decided um, I'm going to use a photo frame now when I moved house about four years ago we had loads of photographs at my old house and um, they were stuck in the garage for probably three and a half years and hubby and I decided it was about time to have a good clear out and some of them the glass got broken on travel or being in the garage or the photo inside got damp and so it stuck to the glass and so we had all sorts of issues with some of them so we decided to bin a lot of it but I wanted to keep some of the frames because I thought they'd come really handy for some crafting projects and yes they have so this one um, it's about an A4 size I think um, so the glass is already gone and the backing's already gone so I'm just left with the wood which is perfect now because it's a picture frame you do still have the metal here that's loaded up my feet wanting some attention so what you do need to do is to remove those from this uh, for the project so let me just get and do that quickly and that's loaded playing with the glass again Right, it should be dead easy. You just need a pair of pliers or something and then just pull them out. Um, she says they're dead easy, but they should just come out. There we go. You just need to get it at an angle rather than try and pull straight out. Oops. The cheaper the picture frame, the easier they come out. So this actually wasn't a cheap one, uh, which is why I'm glad I can reuse it. Be the most stubborn isn't it right we're done fantastic right so i now have my wooden picture frame so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray this um probably yellow like a lemony yellow and then do you remember um kathy from my diy gave me some dollar tree truck for easter and i didn't want to use the easter one because it was too pretty and then my dad bless him used it as a stencil to cut out some trucks out of some plywood I had in my garage so plan is I'm going to use that for this project so I'm going to spray this um, a brighter yellow as well so it's going to be really really colourful um, reef um, I have got the wheels here to go with it so we're going to make this a bit 3D um, but obviously I'm not going to paint those yellow they're going to be black and silver so let me go and get those sprayed and then we can come back and I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this into a reef okay right okay so my frame is sprayed and my little truck is now yellow with my wheels which i will glue these on there underneath to give it like a 3d effect but first of all what i want to do is make it look more like the original truck so this is the one that was gifted to me can you see which is so cute so i want to draw on some of these lines to make it more like the truck so i've got a little gray sharpie pen here and with a steady hand, I shall draw. So I pop that onto the flat surface and uh, wish me luck. okay so it's not as artistic as that one i know i know but hopefully you get the gist and it will all look beautiful when it's all put together next thing i need to do is obviously attach my wheels 
to my little truck. So let's get on and do that. Right, so that's my truck done. You'll notice um, I put some sticky tape just to hold the wheels on because there isn't a lot that's glued on, so that's the reason for it. And I just want to see where I'm going to put it on my little truck. I'm thinking just raised slightly there. And Lola is eating, I know, it's what she does every time. Right, so I'm just going to turn it over because what I want to do is to attach some zoop to it to hold it on. Um, I know Kathy, you would normally use wire. I can't find my wire. It's somewhere in my house. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just position. I'm just going to mark this here and here. Right here. Well, that's it, perfect. Just lift that off. And then I'm going to glue my string with some more tape just to hold it in place. There. And I'm going to do the same here. And I also want to then put some glue to hold it into place as well. Oops, just knocking you about a bit. Like so. What do you think so far? I wish Lola would shut up eating. <laughs> Noisy. Right, I'm just going to trim my edges off here. And just pop some glue underneath just to hold it in place there. Perfect. Right, turn it back over. And then what I want to do is make an arrangement but i have to put on right a bestie bow so i've got here some i've heard earlier this is the ribbon that um kathy sent me in the post and i've just cut it to about 30 centimeters 12 inches or 24 inches um and i've got four of the same length which i'm just going to put together like so like so and then squeeze it in the centre about five, five inches down. And I don't have any for a while, as I said, but I have got these that you use on your um, sandwich bags, which I never use, if I'm honest. So I think they're going to be perfect. So I'm just going to tighten it up. Perfect. And then, Kathy, what's the widget word? Fluff, fluff, fluff. I'm 
so grateful for this bow um, or ribbon rather I just think it's going to look so nice on this and it's going to be a true thank you to Kathy just move all this round there we go And then what I'm thinking is gluing it just here. What do you think? I might just glue it in place and then give it a little bit more of a fluff, fluff, fluff. all the colours the right way around so I get all the the benefit of them. And because this ribbon has got metal in it I can mould it so much easier. Oh, I just love it. Thank you Kathy. And this came all the way from America so I'm just so so happy. There we go. Perfect. And then for here, I've got one more little um, cherry on the top. A sunflower. I love my sunflowers. And this was just one lonely one which I found, which I thought would look lovely right there as a centerpiece in my little bow. What do you think so far? And then I've got some greenery here which I thought I might dress this up a little bit. So I was thinking maybe underneath here, um, or maybe sticking up. I actually did think, I've got this here, which I took the flowers off ages ago. But if I stuck it underneath here, like that, you can see. And then I have got some little individual flowers that I could add onto it to make it look like it is part of the arrangement. What do you think? I think that will look really, really cute. I'm not sure about you there, though. We'll come back to you. So I'm going to turn it around so I can see myself with my own eyes. And then let's see what it looks like. So I'll take all this off first. I'm just going to attach this onto this here. Want it to go through. So let's pop it through like that. Oops. Plenty of hot glue, I think, going on here. And what I will probably do just to help it is put a bit of a band aid on it as well. is going outside and I want to make sure it stays on the wind and everything else. There we go. Okay, let's turn her over and have a look at it. Got sticky tape all over my fingers. Am I the only person that does that? Let's have a look would help to take the price tag off. <laughs> Didn't notice that earlier. Right, because this is an old arrangement, what I now need to do is just make sure I've got nothing on here, like this one here, that should have a head on. Um, because obviously it hasn't at the moment, so what I am gonna do is stick one on it. Like that. And then just twist it so it sticks out a little bit like that. What do you think? It was quite nice. And then I'm just going to randomly stick these on. And maybe 
maybe one more. I think where I want it. It doesn't go there. Mm -hmm. In fact, I don't think I'm going to put another one on there um, because I don't think it will go. Um, but what I do want to do is just have a look at this now. I've got another little flower here, actually, two of these which I am going to stick in. Um, what's left over from another display, so they're going to go in. I'll pop one in there. Just twist it a little bit. And then I've got one more, which I think I might just pop in just down here. Don't put your finger on the hot glue. might need some help on the back. Let's just check it. Put that there. Okay. Let's have a look how we're going with this. I think I'm going to pop a little flower down here as well actually. think so far something missing isn't there and I think it's gonna be here so it needs something in there I think it needs something else down here and I've got these little daisy chains I'm not sure whether that is what I want what do you think I have a little daisy chain there Or there, or there. I'm going to pop it here. Just there. Like so. Right, and I think we are actually done now. What do you think? And I was going to have it as a wreath, but I think you could also um, have it just as a little ornament just to brighten up your kitchen. Because it does go with my kitchen let me show you right there you go i actually am really pleased with that considering um it was just a bit of plywood and an old picture frame so thank you so much kathy at my diy for the inspiration and for sending over the ribbon as well and the template excuse the plane going over so i hope you like that guys if you did don't forget you need to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and of course notifications if you want to see what else I've got going you do okay guys hope you enjoyed that just to show that an old picture frame can be transformed quite easily and if you haven't got plywood you could also do a cardboard but don't obviously leave it outside because it'll go wet all right guys I'll catch you in my next video take care bye